chair hold a meeting later to elect four new directors to its board. Analysts expect the bank to announce a write-down of nearly $2.7 billion for the current quarter just before the meeting. They say UBS will be able to absorb the latest write-down as its capital base is strong. In the energy markets, oil prices fell overnight, settling down $2.11 a barrel at $98.53 after weekly U.S. inventory data showed a bigger-than-expected build in U.S. crude stocks. NYMEX Light Sweet Crude right now stands at $99.10. Brent Crude is at $95.85. Let's talk more about what's happening in the volatile energy market with our first guest, Jonathan Kornefeld, Director for Asia at Hudson Capital Energy. Uh, Jonathan, let me get your views first of all on mm -hmm. this bailout package that has made it through one chamber in the U.S. Congress. It mm -hmm. is expected to pass the House as well. Uh, the impact you see happening on the, the energy markets? Um, I think what everyone is looking for right now is a short-term burst higher, in a, especially in crude oil. Maybe um, test the 105 level again, and um, because the bill, the uh, bill isn't going to be voted on until Friday night Asian time, I would, I would um, guess Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday of next week see the market go higher. I think that is a perfect opportunity actually to buy some cheap puts on the downside, especially in WTI or Brent, because the longer, the, the medium term trend for crude oil is certainly lower for the, uh, the end of 2008 and uh, probably the first half of 2009. We're certainly going to see the market push lower. There's a lot of uh, supply news right now and, and demand news as well that, that shows us this market should be going lower. We're seeing um, Imports increase into the U.S. because of the uh, Gustav and Ike, the, the hurricanes are basically over. So there's more imports coming in. There's nobody buying the crude oil because the refineries are knocked out. And the refineries that are in, they don't want to buy the crude oil because the refinery margin to turn that crude oil into gasoline is so cheap. It's trading around $2 right now. There's no reason for the ones that are operating to actually buy the crude, turn it into gas, because as quickly as the... the uh, refineries are going down because of the hurricanes, d demand is dropping even faster. So, Jonathan, are you saying that, uh, in fact, the, the fundamentals are more important to the oil price at the moment than, than this financial turbulence? It seems for a while the fundamentals have been almost entirely ignored in the oil price. Oh, yeah. For the last couple of weeks, I would say even more than a month now, the fundamentals have been ignored. Um, in the longer term, of course, the market is always searching for the point where demand is restrained but not destroyed. I think in that sense, once we start to return more to a fundamental level, you're going to switch maybe another week now after this bill passes and everyone realizes it's not an instant fix. It may be a long-term fix, but it's not an instant fix. Everyone's going to focus again on demand destruction. They're going to focus on the, um, the supply starting to build again, and then nobody wants gasoline anymore because people are driving a lot less. Price is going to come off a lot. Okay, and, and what's the bottom then? Where do you see the support level coming in for, for crude? Okay, I think there's a strong bottom around the 70 to $75 level. Mm -hmm. I saw some reports saying that um, we might even go to $50. I, I don't think that's possible because I think that the taps are going to be turned off um, in, the, in the $70 range. Mm -hmm. um, certainly the market overshot on the upside. We almost traded $150. It can definitely overshoot on the downside, so it's possible to go below 70 I don't think the producers are going to let that happen. You're going to see hedgers stepping into the market in the 90 and $80 range. There's going to be a lot of buying in that that area because they want to get a hold of these prices before we go back up again, which we most certainly will in the longer term. Jonathan, we've certainly seen a bit of demand destruction coming through as we've seen these higher oil prices, but do you think now that oil prices seem to have pulled back a bit, certainly from that almost 150 level that we had, mm -hmm. is that demand destruction story going to kind of peter out now? Well, the, the demand destruction has, it's not increasing at an increasing rate anymore, it's just continuing, but it's not getting worse and worse. We are certainly seeing demand destruction continue, but it's not, it, it's leveled out to a, to a certain extent. Um, $100 crude is still $100 crude, and people are being laid off uh, across the U.S. and Europe as well, so the demand is going to continue to get hurt. It's just not the absolute destructive level we would see at $130 or $140. Okay, Jonathan, thanks very much for your comments. Jonathan Kornefell, Director for Asia at Hudson Capital Energy. Well, coming up, we will check on the latest currency crosses and discuss with forecast on how to protect your wealth during these turbulent times. And our market reporter.